day 64. Leaving my delightful little abode from last night. Just gone 8.30, had a good breakfast and brewed up a bit of tea and coffee. Very glad I had this place last night because it's been chucking it down. Wet and windy today, reluctantly back on the road. What a brand new bit of dual carriageway here. It's completely empty and doesn't feature on Google Maps. Very, very hilly and going straight into a robust headwind. Just gained a bit of altitude and seen in the far distance to my left a large body of water which I believe to be the Black Sea which I'm going to follow all the way to Georgia looking pretty choppy out there actually and probably great kiting conditions. The hospitality last night really was second to none. I was welcomed very warmly and offered tea and a place in front of the telly to watch the World Cup final. And uh, one chap brought in a bag of Turkish delight and another presented a very large slab of burek and they checked that I had everything I need. One chap got me onto his English speaking friend on the phone to see if there's anything else I required. And this morning, the Imam of the mosque, he brought me a sandwich and a little cast of juice for the road. A lovely experience all round. Set me up very well for the day. Unsurprising to see campsite is on the front here completely shut nobody about we are fully out season and just stopped for a quick feed in Melanagzi which was uh, basically a plate of small fishes maybe a little bit bigger than white bait that came from the Black Sea and hunkered down for a while by the wood burning stove which is very nice but Nothing for it but to get back on the road. I've done about 50k today. It's two o'clock. Pretty savage touring conditions. I did another 20k or so onto Akadachka and stop for a lovely little hot chocolate overlooking the Black Sea and on the way out it was absolutely lashing it down ah! and I found myself asking in a uh, pension for a room before realising it's far too early quite a few lorries so keeping myself well on the hard shoulder here Tonelio non dedicado! Somehow I've got a tail eater here, I'm not quite sure how that happened. Whee! Ah! Arriving in a Lapley, surprisingly quickly actually, and onward strategy as yet unknown. Well, I pulled up outside the mosque at Gürktep about half past five just as it was starting to get dark and had a little look at the map thought I'll roll on see if I can find a beachside camp somewhere here and just as I was leaving the uh, Imam of the mosque said stop a moment in Turkish and uh, led me inside this lovely little heater and sat me down and has offered tonight this fine area possibly somewhere behind this curtain to bed down for the night. Cannot fault the Turkish hospitality so far, it's been superb. One of the chaps that came in to pray was worried that I might be a little bit cold 
and so has given me this hat, which, given the hills that are coming up, is the last thing I need for the extra weight. He must have assumed I was ill-prepared for the Turkish conditions. Perhaps I'll have to foist my own hat upon one of the Turkish people. I'm sure they'd quite like it, actually. Day 65. Eight o'clock, departing the mosque. Absolutely glorious day. Blue skies, sun is out. And I've just climbed out of, or climbing very steeply, out of Eregli, or Eregli. It's about six or seven km's on from the mosque stop. Had a cracking little coffee and bakery treat stop. And now I'm going to stop and just clean up the chain and heading on 45k to Zongduk and then I'll be on to the very quiet hilly roads through northern Turkey alongside the Black Sea which I'm very excited about. 600 metre climb out of Erejli and on this occasion, oh bear with there. on this occasion I've used Kamut to route me off the main road. It's been quite busy since Akajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajakajak
Moving on, finally. Road has actually been pretty quiet, not too bad. I've gained quite a bit of height and I'm now descending to Zoldach. Headwinds again today, seems to be funneling right up this valley, getting core valley for my descent. Well, it's supposed to be a nice little morning potter over to Zoldach, but it's taken me till, uh, it's gone half past two now, and I'm thoroughly Lost patience with it actually. Blazing headwinds. Need to sit down in a calf. I arrived in Zoldak in quite a poor mental state at about 2.33 o'clock and chance for a Starbucks, which I bolted into for a big coffee and a bit of home comfort and uh, made my plan for Zoldak. Had to visit the post office and had to withdraw some money and I spent a very great length of time doing both of these things. Anyway, I established it would cost about 35 euros to send on a kilo or two of luggage onto, uh, well I couldn't send it to Georgia actually, that was not an option, back to the UK. So I wrote that option out and then uh, managed to send a few postcards home, so that was some success. And then did a massive trawl of the ATMs of all the banks on the high street because they all charge an obscene amount of money between six and twelve percent to withdraw cash anyway i was feeling a little bit tired and dejected so dipped into a little kebab house for a quick feed and couldn't move myself just sat there slumped for at least an hour probably and then noticed there was one cash point that i hadn't tried yet so got myself up dashed across the road and lo and behold spat some notes out free of charge which put me on a bit of a high actually brutally up and down heading east northeast out of zong zong dang dong zong dalek i'm just going to roll along until i find something that looks I, I don't even know i don't even know what don't know taxi up a cull absolutely ridiculous evening which has culminated in this. More details tomorrow.